it was like a breath of fresh air to hear like lyricism, great subject matter, breath control, style, and great music. You know what I mean? Not because it reminded me of back then, but these young cats are doing it and they are young. You know what I mean? I would love to do some music for those brothers. I would love to do some music for those brothers, man. Um, it's a young, another young cat I heard named Kendrick Lamar. I think that's his name, Kendrick Lamar. I like his stuff. I like his stuff. It's like, yo, these are some young brothers I would love. There's some young cats I would love to work with. What I will say is, I'm kind of glad that somebody stepped up and stopped co-signing a lot of these young dudes and put them in their place. I'm speaking about the, the Rod Digger, Tyler Creator situation. Everybody would kind of was like, you know, oh, you know, she, you know, you don't have to, you know, blah, 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 blah. But there comes the time when you go too far. And he went too far. You know what I mean? He went too far. You dissing icons. You just, you don't diss MC Light. You know what I mean? And he, he just flat out dissed her. You know what I mean? And then you got this cat saying, you know, nut stuff about, you know, Rod Digger. And, you know, she said it on this cat. She really said it on him. I thought, I heard that song. We said it, it was crazy. We had listened to the song right before we did the last episode of Straight From The Bill. And that actually became the topic of the show, which I think was one of the best shows we did because we had a lot of fun and a lot of laughing. But back to Rod Digger, I heard that she went on this dude. She, she did a, she did a Jay-Z, LL, type Jack the Ripper. She did her homework on this cat before she sat there and just run him. It wasn't just name calling. And the fact that she used what he said about her in the song and flipped it. When I understand these dudes are losing fans like that. It's like, yo, sometimes you gotta know when to keep your mouth shut. You gotta stop, man, because you took it too far. You know what I mean? What people don't realize, like, yo, Rod Digger performed for Michael Jackson on the Heal the World song. You dig what I'm saying? Just because you don't see her in these videos doing X, Y, Z, Rod Digger, to me, still is one of the most fierce MCs. I'm not saying female MCs, I'm saying most fierce MCs, period. What the hell was that? Seems like turned bogus. Then she ran over the sign. Oh, shit. Damn, but ain't nobody else have a car over there. It's, it's crazy. But again, that comes from, you know, people just, just going with the flow, not following. You know, not reading up on what they're talking about. You know what I mean? But, yeah, that, that uh, when I mentioned that to him, and I tested you, take this to school as a reference. And he was like, you know, on top of that, you know, he kind of thought it was dope. And it's crazy because, you know, you know, he's 15, so you know, he likes, oh, you know, he likes all the new cats. You know, <laughs> he likes all the, you know, he likes Wale's and Tigers and Two Chains. Hey, How did that stuff make it to Philly? Hey, man. I remember back in the day, I guess that's the internet. To China! <laughs> no, I remember back in the days it was like. What is a man? Tell me, tell me, what is a man? And then I would have to file it. Tell so I would learn, I was learning how to file stuff man. early. So my pop was, I'm a he was an amazing cat, man. But my mom just encouraged all that because my mom I'm a black man. was just, she was just so thorough as far as like, just smart. My mom designed the Rouse Associates building. It's a big building in Philadelphia downtown. She designed that building. She um was one of the first young black super, female black supervisors at Blue Cross in the 70s. You know, my mom was like, she's the truth. You know what I mean? And then to sit down and talk to her, it's like, there's nothing that she doesn't know. There's nothing she doesn't she doesn't know. It's like it's crazy that I really wish my pop was here. Because I guarantee you, if my pop was living, he'd live here. My pop would probably be living with me. You know, even when my parents separated, they were still together. You know what I mean? They didn't live in the same house. My pop was always at my house. You know, my mom never remarried. My pop never remarried. Nobody dated. You know, it was a situation where they didn't break from each other. You know what I mean? 
but I, I was, like I said, I was, I was fortunate to be one of the kids that had both parents, like a mother and a father, in a working class home, two cars in front of the house, and we still, we snapped, we smacked dad in the middle of the hood, but that's like they didn't raise me to be in the hood. I was a kid that grew up where I went everywhere. You always went on vacation. I'm not talking. There's no diss, but I'm not talking about Atlantic City of Great Adventure. You know, we catch the flights, going places. You know what I mean? I was being exposed to so much early, and that's what I want for my kids. You know what I mean? So, that's, that's it, man. My, my dad is, that dude, his record collection, I ain't got it. Jack or dude, man. His record collection was, was flawless. Like, he was a, a very, very serious, serious record collector. You know, his, his vinyl game was unbelievable. His book collection was unbelievable. You know what I mean? And we just talking about, you can call this dude up. That's what I miss about my dad most of all. You can call him at any time of the day and ask him a question about any topic. And I guarantee you can have the answer for him. And great. he was just, he was just thorough. He never went to college. Never went to college. And he wanted me to go to school. But that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do everything he did. Like, I, was, I almost went to the service. Picture that. You know what I mean? I almost went to the service because that was something that he did. But he never went to college. But this dude was always reading. Always. And that's what I stress.